Alright guys, hey, it's me, Antonio Diaz. I'm back with another vlog. I told you guys I'd be vlogging consistently. Alright, so right now, my girlfriend is currently at work. Yes, I'm still unemployed. I'm working on that. I swear guys, like here's my laptop. I have been signing up for jobs. I have been sending out my resume. Black, 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 quick. And still nothing. Plan for today is I'm gonna go get a coffee at Starbucks. Then I'm gonna go uh study for my personal trade certification. I need to study some anatomy and some other other stuff for that. And then we're gonna hit an upper body workout. After I get that coffee and study and all that, we're gonna head to the gym with Teresa and we're doing upper body, lower body break, upper body, lower body break, break. And that has been my workout routine so far. I love doing that because I, it just makes sure that I have I fit everything my entire workout in in a good slotted time And that means that my workouts don't take forever and I'm not sitting in the gym forever I'm telling you guys you have to tune into today's video because today's upper body Workout will be amazing guys like I'm telling you we're gonna make sure you hit every upper body uh, muscle I'm gonna explain why you're, you need to be doing these exercises. And most importantly, I know a lot of you guys, and me included, I suffer from muscle imbalances. And I've been doing my research and just through my personal training certification classes and all that, I can explain exactly why you're getting these imbalances and what to do to fix these imbalances. So stay tuned, you guys. I will be putting a timestamp right here and that will let you guys know, like if you just want to skip through the entire vlog and just go straight to the workout, boom, do it. I would recommend that because that way you guys, this is what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys be more efficient in the workout room, to enjoy your workouts and understand why you're doing these workouts. So I don't know if you guys know, but I did get an Xbox One pretty recently, and follow me, it's Anton underscore vlog, but I don't know what game to get. I, I, man, I want FIFA, but I already have FIFA for PlayStation 4, and I played so many other games on the PS4. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I did get Assassin's Creed, game is fire. Fire. Just had my coffee, and before heading home, I just I wanted to stop at JMU, James Madison University. Here's why. As many of you guys may know, I'm a graduate of James Madison University. I graduated this year, and man, it feels good. Check this school out. I mean, there's the library. You guys, I love JMU. I remember just being a freshman, coming in super nervous about school and how I'd perform. I came in as a bio major. And that didn't even work out. I ended up being a health science major and I couldn't be more proud of myself. Seriously, school was not easy. I had to study so much. I, I, I remember those days where I'd be going to sleep at 2 a.m. No exaggeration. If anybody knows me, I flip and study. And things didn't come easy to me. Just because I studied and grinded, it just, it, I would say I was a pretty average student, even with the amount of studying that I did. It was actually incredible, but it, it made me who I am. 
I ended up being a health science major and that was one of the toughest decisions I ever made. I remember I did it my junior year. That's right, junior year. I just want, needed one more year to complete everything in my bio degree and I switched. And I remember sitting there in bed and I was like, wow, I'm such an idiot. Why did it take me so long to realize that bio wasn't my thing? I wanted to do something more into the sciences and all that. And that's why I became a health science major and said, screw it, I need a jump. What kept me at it was just wondering what would happen if I didn't switch? Where would I be if I didn't do that? What would I be if I didn't make the decision to switch to health sciences? And I decided, yeah, it wasn't going to be easy, but it was going to be worth it in the long run. I took anatomy, one of the toughest classes, guys. I took that class twice, and now I flipping love that class. And that's because I pushed through that barrier, that, that, that point where I just thought, holy crap, this class is hard. I'm not even going to try. I'm going to just quit. And I didn't. I just kept at it, kept at it, studying every day, trying to find new ways to learn and, and be aggressive with my learning. And it paid off because it actually became one of the classes that I enjoyed the most at JMU. Look guys, what I'm trying to say is there's no such thing as instant success. For most people, success in any field takes time and persistence and there will be setbacks along the way. Sportsmen, women who train hard every day at, and make it to the Olympics don't come in first place but that's what pushes them to keep going and going and going because at some point you'll reach the top guys. All those hard times, all those trials and errors led me to succeed here at JMU or, and will lead me to succeed anywhere because it's a mentality that I have. I don't want to be just okay because okay doesn't get you anywhere. Lastly, all I'm trying to say is work hard, do what you want to do, and take risk because they are rewarding at the end. Don't let anybody tell you what you can't be, what you can't do. Just if it's up here, Make sure you embed it in your mind and make it happen, guys. Make it flipping happen. All right, let's head home. All right, guys, so I'm in Best Buy right now because I had to get a lens cover because I just lost my lens cover. I don't know where it went. I literally just lost it. I have to look for that one and then I also got a uh, little tripod this is a pretty cool tripod because it's small and the other tripod that I have is really long and obnoxious and I'm going to Florida so I want to keep things really small so that everything fits in my bag and I have no troubles with that and that tri this tripod will work a lot better hey how are you Good, how are you? Doing well. Can't complain. Yeah. Alright guys, throw that receipt over there. Throw the tripod over there, which will be very useful for Florida. Woo! Alright guys, let's, let's get in here. Oh crap, hold on. I got it out of the casing. 67 right there. It says it right there. Let's see if it fits, guys. Oh god. It fits. Oh, we're good, guys. Yes. Hopefully, I find the Canon one because obviously the Canon one looks a lot better. But hey, you gotta, gotta keep the lenses protected. Eh? Hey, guys. Welcome to the commentary part of the workout. I hope you guys really enjoy this commentary and remember if you're enjoying this video please hit that like subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know how you like this workout and if I should do this more often anyway we're starting this um, today's upper body workout with an incline dumbbell press this is an important workout to perform because it will put tension on your cavicular head of your pecs which is also known the upper uh, also known as the upper pectoralis major, aka upper chest, which is oftentimes really weak for um, a lot of people, such as me. 
This horizontal push workout is known as the most effective compound movement for the upper chest activation. We are doing this exercise because we can effectively prioritize the upper chest. Using a dumbbell instead of a barbell will help keep tension on the pectoralis muscle. This is because the barbell will put more tension on the delts, aka shoulders. Using the dumbbells for the exercise will help prevent muscle imbalances because you have to bounce dumbbells while doing the exercise. This exercise will give you a greater range of motion, which is really important. Our second uh, workout is a horizontal rowing movement for the upper back. This exercise is a chest supported row, uh, which will target the majority of your back, latissimus dorsi, trapezius, infraspinae, supraspinae, teres major, teres minor, rhomboids, posterior deltoids, biceps, and brachialis. Now, moving on to the third exercise, the overhead press, which is a vertical pressing movement, is a great exercise movement because it can be easily overloaded with weights and targets multiple muscles at once, such as the anterior delts, latissimus dorsi, serratus anterior, and triceps brachii. This will mainly target your anterior and lateral delts, though, so keep that in mind. For our next exercise, we're going to do a vertical pulling movement shown now as the pull-ups. Now that you're fatigued, the, this exercise, exercise is similar to the pull-up, become tougher to perform. Pull-ups will work out a lot of your back muscles as mentioned in the last exercise. This exercise involves your scapular, st scapular stabilizers as well, making it an ideal exercise because not many exercises work out your scapular stabilizers. It's important to know, I'm just going to add this right now, that you, if you can't do pull-ups, just do a lap pull-down, and they'll work out just the same amount of muscle groups and all that, except obviously it's going to be a little easier for you. I suggest doing pull-ups because, you know, that's, that's tougher and it works out your forearms better, but it's up to you guys. Now moving on to some accessory movements such as the incline dumbbell curls. This is a great exercise to perform since it puts tension on the long head of the bicep which usually doesn't get uh, much activation. This exercise will ensure that the biceps maintain activated throughout the whole range of motion. Now finally, we're going to the end of the workout with the overhead tricep extension. Due to the flexion of the shoulder in this exercise, the exercise will target mainly the long head of the tricep. Ensuring that you do this in an inclined bench will ensure that you don't get any muscle imbalances and will also decrease the momentum you can use to help you get through the exercise. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. And remember to leave a like, comment, and of course click that subscribe button. It really helps out. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you. Catch you on the next video.